Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremiah Brown. You're about to see a video about a specific treatment for your retinal condition to help save your sight. Having any type of treatment or surgery is an important decision to make. To help you decide if this treatment option is right for you, I want you to understand what to expect. This video will explain how the treatment can help preserve your vision. It also explains the possible risks associated with this treatment. Sit back, relax, and watch this video. We'll be happy to explain any questions that you may have about this retina treatment. At the Brown Retina Institute, we are committed to protecting your sight. Your ophthalmologist has diagnosed a torn retina in your eye. This condition occurs when the tissue lining the back of your eye has a tear or a hole in it, similar to a rip in a piece of cloth. A torn retina can affect your vision and often leads to a more serious condition called a detached retina, where the retina is lifted away from the back of the eye. Your ophthalmologist has recommended repairing your torn retina with laser surgery. This surgery can help to prevent further retinal damage and save your sight. To understand how a torn retina affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. The inner eye is filled with a clear, jelly-like substance called vitreous. As we age, the vitreous becomes less like jelly and more like liquid. Usually, the vitreous is only loosely attached to the retina, so as the eye moves, the vitreous moves away from the retina without causing problems. Sometimes, though, the vitreous pulls hard enough to tear the retina. Flashes of light or floaters can appear in the field of vision. If a tear occurs along a retinal blood vessel, this can cause bleeding into the vitreous. This is called a vitreous hemorrhage, and it can cause a large number of floaters in the field of vision. Retinal tears are a problem because fluid can pass through the tear and lift the retina off the back of the eye. This is called a retinal detachment. The retina does not work when it is detached and vision becomes blurred. A retinal detachment is a very serious problem that almost always causes blindness unless it is treated. Your ophthalmologist will repair your torn retina with a procedure called photocoagulation. A laser is used to seal the retina to the wall of the eye. The goal is to prevent fluid from going through the tear and under the retina, causing retinal detachment. This treatment may be performed in your ophthalmologist's office. Drops will be put in your eyes to dilate or widen your pupils and to numb them. You might also be given a small amount of anesthetic in the outer part of your eye. A lens will be placed on the front of your eye, which is used to focus the laser precisely on the retina. Treatment usually takes less than 15 minutes. To repair a retinal tear with laser surgery, your ophthalmologist uses a laser to make small burns around the tear. The procedure creates scars that seal the retina to the wall of the eye, helping to prevent the retina from detaching completely. You may experience pinprick sensations as the laser is applied. You can let your surgeon know and he or she will adjust the laser power or stop the procedure momentarily to make you more comfortable. After the laser surgery, it's important that you avoid exercise or any strenuous activity to allow your retina to heal properly for a few weeks. Your doctor will tell you when you can resume your normal activities. As with any medication or procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with photocoagulation laser treatment for retinal tears. These may include temporary pain, blind spots in your side vision, loss of central vision, retinal bleeding, retinal scar tissue, the failure to prevent a retinal detachment in the future, and the possible need for additional surgery. 
other treatment options may be available for your retinal tear. Depending on your condition, these options could include cryotherapy, which is a freezing treatment, or a combination of laser photocoagulation and cryotherapy. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose laser surgery for your particular course of treatment. You do not have to be treated for your retinal tear. However, without treatment, it is very likely you will develop a detached retina and lose vision in that eye. The main goal of treating retinal tears is to prevent severe vision loss from a detached retina. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.